morning. It's a beautiful day this morning. It is still morning, late morning, but it is still morning. I got spice outside. I'm enjoying my second cup of coffee. Spice and I have had breakfast and uh, he's outside enjoying his time out here. Got a lot of construction things going on in the neighborhood. It's because of the weather, it's really nice outside. And so people are working on their homes in the neighborhood, you know. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would touch base with you this morning and uh, let you guys know that I am uh, out on the porch enjoying myself. It's Saturday morning and uh, we're going to get into the kitchen today. All right, we are and get some things done. I've got a few things that I want to cook up today, okay? Between today and tomorrow. Oh, let's get this on the roll on the... All right. <laughs> let's get it going, all right? I am going to get my little thing for the fryer out here. And... These are potatoes that I had from a, food, a previous food bank. And we are about to drop this in hot oil. So I'm gonna be extremely careful. As we do this. I used my chopper to put some potatoes. Chop up some potatoes. Yeah. There we go. That should be enough. I don't want to overcrowd. Get a platter out here to put all of fried fish and potatoes on. This is the last fish frying, the last fish of the fish that I got from the food bank several months ago and froze up. And so, this is going to be the last fish fry that I have for a while. And, uh, yeah, so. I want to thank you guys for all your prayers for the people in Plum Grove and surrounding areas that are <coughs> under flood waters right now. Um, it is quite a scary but an interesting time for them. Um, I did post on my community page links to all of their channels because the views that you give them now is going to help them rebuild rebuild Morrow Hill okay and all of the creators that live out there and their homes and their fences and their garages, their barns for the animals, the stalls. It's, 
it's going to be, this is pretty close to equivalent to Hurricane Harvey flooding, okay? And uh, it is going to be a job for a lot of people in that area, not just the people on Morrow Hill, but a lot of people in that area. But anyway, so I'm going to get these potatoes fried up. And I don't know if y'all enjoy this, okay? So I'm going to leave it on and let y'all see my fried potatoes and how they come out. I do like mine extra crispy and dark. And so I'm flipping, I'm swishing them around and flipping them over. Okay. these in there. Hopefully we can fit them all in there. This is going to be my lunch today, by the way. And, uh, yeah. nothing like the smell of fresh uh, fried potatoes. I don't know about you guys, but frying your potatoes at home, they just taste much better. In my opinion. Okay? In my opinion. And I've worked in fast food restaurants over my years. Okay? <laughs> these are too hot for me to try. My mouth is watering, but these are too hot for me to try. So, I'll push those over to the side now that they have drained pretty much. And get ready for these to go. Anyway, I am going to fry these up 
and then I will bring you back when I get ready for the fish okay all right we're back and the potatoes are fried in the time I did that I got the tartar sauce made for the fish so now we're going to put the fish in there and I have a brown paper bag here and all I did was put maybe a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornmeal, salt, and pepper. You can add other seasonings if you want. You can add cayenne pepper. You can add, um, I have used, what do they call it, uh, tony sachets. I have used that in it. And what I'm going to do so I'm just going to lay the fish down into the hot oil. Okay. Let's see how many pieces I can get in here. I think I can get one more in there. Yeah. one more in the bag so anyway we got the fish in there three pieces of fish this may be enough for my lunch and dinner today and I'm not going to be mad about that because I like me some fried fish homemade fried fish Washing my hands because I have my hands touching that raw fish. It's going to be good, okay? It's going to be good. listening to them do construction right next door. <laughs> people in my neighborhood are very active people and they're always trying to improve their homes. Okay. These potatoes, so good. Mm. Look at me. I 
can keep my hands off of those fried potatoes. There, that's good, people. I do need salt. Thanks for saying hello to you guys from the back room. Mm. All right. I'm going to move these over. Pull this up. Pull this over. Come. Get out of the way. what I wanted it to do. Oh, well. I'm going to pull the fish out. I'm going to fry up this last piece of fish and I'll bring you in when I have it all plated up. Hey everyone. I just finished up cooking the fish and so I am in my office right now with my plate right here. I wanted y'all to see this plate of delicious goodness. I got me some ketchup to go with the fries. And for the fish, y'all see that? For the fish, that fish is hot, hot. Hold on a minute. It's hot, hot. There we go. For the fish, crispy on the outside. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. That's good. We'll see if we get into more shenanigans in my kitchen this evening, okay? I might just have fish and fries again for dinner tonight. Or I might get in there and make a second recipe. We'll see. Hey guys, I'm bringing you guys in because I am in the mood for a treat for myself. And so, I am going to make myself a treat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ice from my freezer. I like these tiny ice cubes. Don't know why, but I do. So we're gonna put some of your ice in here.
then this can get washed and we'll start over with it. Then I'm going to come in with some milk, about a cup. I am going to add to this two teaspoons of Javi concentrate, regular. Remember, this is lethal. I'm a maybe a teaspoon and a half, okay? <laughs> this is some good stuff, okay? <laughs> Just saying. Right. Then, it's pretty strong. And then, we are going to add sweeteners and I have to go get the vanilla okay. that's the flavor I want in it so I'm gonna go get the vanilla I'll be back all right I'm back instead of adding regular vanilla I'm gonna add this Danae's vanilla it's pure vanilla vanilla it is a a vanilla that I've used for years comes out of Mexico and I like it in my baked goods as just as much as I like um, I went a little bit more in there just as much as I like the typical vanilla that you get here in the United States this one has a more a softer kind of flavor and then we're going to now come back. all right I'm bringing you in and we're gonna put it in this cup that I have it was a Christmas gift from my family. So, now, hold on. What am I thinking? Let's open this up. That's why we have this spout on it. You can see it's thick. Maybe that's why I opened it up. Let me open this up. Get this out of the way. See, this is really thick. We're gonna get this out of here and you're gonna see just how thick this is and how much it made all right so that's how much it made I still got some in there what I'm gonna do with that mm, this is so good what I'm gonna do with that is a leftover. I'm gonna enjoy this. And then the leftover 
we are going to make let me find the lid that I need behind the scenes here We're going to take this, put it in here, and we're going to put this in the freezer. And this is going to become a frozen treat for me later. Just enough to fill that container. Here we go. Now I have a nice frozen treat for later. Hey everyone, I'm bringing you guys in to show you what I am about to get busy on. We're going to start with my Dutch oven over here that one of the viewers graciously sent me and I so appreciate it and use it. This is um, bacon grease. I cooked up some bacon this morning uh, because I needed the bacon grease for this particular recipe. And so we got some bacon grease going on here. Okay, give me a minute. Put this here. Okay, Put that right there. And we're gonna get this going. Okay. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna put my apron on. And we're going to get some onions and bell peppers in there. Well, onions and peppers. This is a bag full of all different kinds of peppers that I'm trying to get used up. And so we'll get those in there. Get those started sauteing. Oh! Got some jalapenos back here. sauteing first remember that giant zucchini that I got from the food bank this week I'm going to back the camera up while that's sautéing. I'm going to back this camera up and we're going to get busy on this zucchini because I need it to go in next. Okay. 
First though, I'm going to get Then I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this. You can. And we are going to get in here. I've already washed the zucchini. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna see what this looks like on the inside. Okay. Let me get. trash can over here. Right. I'm going to get the zucchini cracked open and see what it looks like on the inside. Be careful. Don't cut myself. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is more than likely the seeds on this thing are too big so I'm gonna come in and cut the seeds out of this I'm scraping the seeds out that I see. Okay. Into the trash can. And we're gonna do the same thing with these two halves. With this half, we're gonna do the same thing. Chunk of onion in there. Kind of break it up. 
into its layers. Already smelling wonderful in here. that is done I am going to scrape the seeds off down in here that's a wet towel that I have up underneath there so this uh, chopping board won't slide on me and now I'm going to come in and we are going to dice this zucchini up into sections we're going to slice it first. <clears throat> and then we're going to dice it up. I'm going to turn this off for right now because I'm not ready for that right now. <laughs> it's done and I don't want to overcook it. So, let me get a bowl. casserole dish but that's okay it'll do what I want it to do okay. which is to hold these chopped up zucchini that I have. Okay. set that right there for right now and we're going to continue to slice this up. This is a lot of zucchini, <laughs> but it's going to taste good. It sure is. When I get done with this recipe, it is going to taste good. So if you guys ever get your hands on a zucchini that big, this is what you do with it. This is what I do with it. I stew it up.
you could grate the zucchini up and make like zucchini bread with it. Um, we did that on the farm a lot when we would find zucchinis like this that we had missed in the picking process. Yep, we would take it and grate it and make zucchini bread out of it. It is raining outside right now. And so, stuck inside, so might as well get some of this done. use up the vegetables that I got this week mm -hmm. or at least one of the vegetables finds it. All right. So, there we go. We got the zucchini diced up. The next thing I'm going to do, the reason I wanted to, let me find that zucchini that just hit the floor. I don't want to step on it. I don't want... the next step I wanted to get the zucchini chopped up before the next step okay because the next step is my pork chops and that's what's going into the pan next but I wanted to do it in the right order and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna cube these pork chops I need to sharpen this knife. Okay. I'm going to turn this burner back on. And now we're going to throw in long way first.
I think this is going to be like four pork chops. Okay. Boneless, skinless pork chops. Here we go. All right, we got everything that I needed for this recipe chopped up. We're gonna take the cut, cutting board and the knife. This I'm just gonna use to clean everything up. And wipe it down. this sauteed up and I'll bring you back. Alright, I'm bringing you in to show you that I've gotten everything browned up and the next step to this is tomato juice. which I have a can of V8 that I got from the food bank. So I'm going to use that. And then some tomato sauce. Okay. 
just a little bit of water to rinse that can out. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna give this a stir. bring you guys back over to this small counter space that I have while well, that comes back up to a simmer and we're going to check out this cilantro that I bought from a while back and it does look like that it's okay so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this off right here okay. this is what I'm gonna use in the stew the rest of it is going into the trash because this is plenty and we're going to chop this up This is going into the pot over here. Now, now I'm sure that I got everything in here. And then, I'm gonna bring it back over to the pot. Okay. And we're going to put the zucchini in now. make a big pot of this soup okay but I'm okay with cooking on a grand scale and eating on a grand scale because this is gonna be so good <laughs> this is one of my favorite zucchini dishes okay now I need a little bit more liquid in there so I'm just gonna add some water I'm just gonna use this the thing I had the zucchini in we're gonna add some water in there You know, like jalapenos in here um, to give it a kick if you wanted to. I'm not in the mood for a kick today, so I'm not going to do that, but you certainly could. I am going to add pepper, cracked pepper.
plenty of it. Since I did not add any jalapenos or serrano peppers, or I am going to add the cracked pepper in there. Then we're going to come in and add some salt. And this is going to simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Until the zucchini is tender and the pork is done. And this is generally served over rice. And I do have some rice in the refrigerator already cooked. So that's what I'll be having this over. And I will bring you back once it comes up to a boil. I will let it boil for 45 minutes to an hour. It just depends on. I'll come and check it. And it depends. Okay? Alright. Lid goes on. And we'll bring that up to a boil. Hey everyone. I'm bringing you in to show you what it looks like once it's done. This is what it looks like. It's basically a pork stew, pork zucchini stew. Okay, and you serve it over rice. And with a couple of tortillas. And I made myself a big bowl of it. And this is what it looks like. Okay. Now I'll meet you in the office and we'll talk about this, okay? Okay, everyone. Hey. Well, let me get my hair situated. I took a nap, okay? Because why? Because I could. All right. <laughs> All right, this is the stew that I made, the pork stew. And I call it a pork stew. I don't know what they call it. But my mother-in-law used to make it all the time. It was one of my favorites that she made. One of them. And so, we're going to get in here and try it. Mmm. This is so good. All right. That zucchini is delicious. Mm. I need to take the tortilla. You do it however you want. I take the tortilla and wrap it. Take a little bite of the tortilla. Mm. My mother-in-law used to make this all the time. And this was a dish that made me fall in love with zucchini. Before, <laughs> I did not like zucchini, like stewed zucchini or, um, how do I put this? Yeah, I didn't like cooked zucchini. Okay, we're yellow squash at all, but the way that my mom made them, okay, <clears throat> and so when she made them in dishes, I didn't like them, but once I got out on my own and I tried them a variety of different ways, this was one of them, um, I fell in love with them, all right. My mom used to make with the Summer squash, the yellow squash, she used to make it like mashed potatoes, all right? And it was like a, a mush, okay? And I didn't like it. My family did, but I didn't like it. And that was pretty much the only way that I ever remember her making them. 
I prefer my squashes roasted or battered and fried. Like, I've only ever done it in restaurants when you go out to a restaurant and you get uh, fried squash. Um, you know, stiffed in a batter and fried in the fryer. And I like them that way. Um, but this one is the way I like the zucchini. Now, there's also another squash out there that she used to use a lot of. And it's called calabaza, which is pretty much the same. Um, it has a little different coloration on the outside. But she used it equally the same, whatever she could get her hands on between the zucchini and the calabaza. Um, she would use it and make the same dish. And so, if I get my hands on the calabaza, then I use it as well as the zucchini the exact same way, okay? Now, the question that I always have, that I haven't tried, because you saw the size of that zucchini. Um, I wonder if I do the same and make a mixture of the yellow squash and the zucchini in this, if I would like it. I wonder if I would. I have no idea. I've never tried it before. Um, that might be something I try. But if once I have, you know, yellow squash and zucchini together, I usually roast those. I season them up and roast them in the oven. But anyway, this is my, what I call pork stew, all right, uh, dish that I learned to make from my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. You guys be blessed because I, I'm blessed. I'm blessed each and every day with you guys watching my channel. You have no idea? You have no idea. Today is Sunday, and I am going to leave you some links. <clears throat> I'm going to leave you some links uh, um, to uh, click on if you haven't seen all my older videos. Feel free to go back and watch them. I try to make it very easy for you so that you can go back and watch the list, okay? And that way you can go and watch at your leisure and uh, and every, every view and comment and share and thumbs up, it all matters. And it doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out tremendously. So if you haven't watched all my videos, go back and hit these links and watch them at your leisure comment on them share them like them give them a thumbs up if you enjoy them and you guys be blessed because i'm blessed each and every day by you guys <laughs>